contact. Sorry, your pine nuts are burning. <gasps> oh, well done. See, after all that, uh, you can't she, she burnt her pine nuts. Hi, I'm Rosie McKean, and I'm going to cook for you today grilled asparagus with fennel, ricotta, and salmorillo, which is a Sicilian lemon dressing. What I'm going to do is a little dish here that is really useful one to have in your back pocket for your barbecues, for any kind of like group event and it's really, really, really delicious. We're going to use a dressing today called salmorillo, which is typically used in Sicilian food for dressing grilled meats and grilled fish, but I think it works just as well on salads as well. And yeah, it's, it's a really banging dish, so let's go. So first thing, I'm going to get rid of my asparagus and I'm going to make my salmorillo. I'm just going to get the zest of this lemon and that is looking good, delicious. And now I'm just going to juice my lemon. And this is just so summery and fresh. And now I'm gonna add some garlic. Um, so I'm gonna finely chop it. I'm gonna cross chop it. And then I'm gonna put some salt on it. So I'm using nice sea salt. I'm just kind of just smush it. And this will create basically a seasoned garlic paste. A bit like the one that you might be tempted to buy, but I would not recommend buying because everything is better fresh if you can get it. And now what I've got is a super flavorful, super strong garlic paste without very much effort. Finished. Oh my God, it's like summer in a bowl. Okay, so oregano is another really classic Sicilian herb. Uh, it is a really classic herb that you find in Italian food. I really like the profile of both dried and fresh oregano. I think they bring different things. So that's why we're using both today. I'm gonna to chop up some of this lovely fresh oregano. You definitely don't wanna use any of those woody stems. Just pull the leaves off like that. And give that a nice chop. This actually grows in a lot of British gardens. You'd be surprised. If you ever see this sort of like fluffy, pretty little herb, it's oregano. Get it, get it in your kitchen, start using it. Okay, so that's enough of that. So I'm just gonna chop that up. And you can imagine that this would work so well on like some lovely, slowly cooked grilled pork or, you know, a big old hunk of lamb shoulder that's been sitting on the barbecue for hours. Or even just like a piece of fish, a lovely mackerel. And the flavor, the smell of this is like unreal. Okay. In that goes. And then lastly, some olive oil. And I will finish this with a bit of parsley at the end. So you kind of want ratio wise, about two to one oil to lemon juice. That should balance the, the acid. It smells amazing. So I've seasoned that garlic already. So I'm just gonna try it before I add any more seasoning. I don't wanna don't want to hit it with too much salt. Oh my God. That is something else. Very delicious. Okay. So now I'm going to talk about my fennel. You want to kind of get rid of these really tough outer bits. You could save it for a stock, but you can see that I didn't think of that before I did that. So we'll just say less about that. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to really just as finely as I can slice this. I realize that the, the most useful piece of kit for this would be a mandolin, but when you have a really good knife, it's possible. So I just like doing it in little rounds, really. And fennel has a very aniseedy profile. Um, 
you know, it's a bit like tarragon, star anise, if you've ever drunk Sambuca, something like that. And when you cook it, that becomes even more pronounced. So if you're someone who's a bit like, I don't like fennel, it's too aniseedy, have it raw. It's very different, um, especially when you finely slice it and then you marinate it. Uh, the flavor is really, really, really quite special. And I'm getting close to the end now. So I'm going to plonk this in my bowl. So one thing to note about fennel is that it oxidizes. So you do need to treat it with a bit of lemon juice. So I'm just taking my other lemon here and I'm just going to squeeze the lemon juice on it. And that will stop it from discoloring. And I'm going to get to these little bits. All of this, really good. Don't get rid of that. That's delicious. If you were having some fish, some marinated fennel is like a dream accompaniment. Tiny bit more olive oil. Give that a good mix. And that can just sit, I mean, that can sit for like half an hour at this point. And that's just a salad in itself, but we're gonna combine it with all of our lovely other bits. So now it's asparagus time. Asparagus, what a useful vegetable. Very short season, very delicious. One thing to know about asparagus is that it's super easy to prep. It has a natural snapping point. So these thick bits, you know, this slightly less green bit, that's not really edible, it's very woody. So you just want to bend your asparagus and where it naturally snaps, goodbye. I'm gonna to continue to prep my asparagus. Such a satisfying sound. Oh, I love it. So I'm going to griddle my asparagus uh, no oil at all, nothing on them, they don't need it. If your griddle is really nice and hot, which this one is, uh, it doesn't need any oil. I am going to just slice them on the bias like that, just so they're easier to fit in my tiny griddle. <laughs> okay, so. It's actually quite hot, maybe don't stick your fingers in there for ages. Just give that a nice griddle. So the other thing that I can't see here, but I know we do have, is some bread. I've found this bread from nowhere and it's arrived on camera and now I'm going to use it. Um, I'm going to griddle my bread as well. Just a small amount. I know this isn't a bread knife, but it's such a good knife that I can use it for anything I want. <laughs> bread in a salad might sound counterintuitive, but let me tell you, it's well worth it. Let's have a look at these. Getting some nice color. Just keep turning and moving them. And afterwards, we're gonna dress them in that lovely salmorillo. And when I'm making a salad, I like to assemble on a flat plate because I feel like if you can build up, it looks beautiful. You know, abundance is achieved when the whole dish is visible. So if you hide something in a bowl, you lose a lot of that sense of joy and like plenty. Whereas if you have it on a plate, you can see the whole thing. So I'm just gonna do a little bit of this marinated fennel in a layer here. Okay, so some of these smaller pieces of asparagus are done. Smoky, yummy freshness. So I'm just taking those off and I'm going to just do a little bit of a pre-dress. Once something comes off a grill and it's hot, that's when it's at a really absorbent point. So if you put something on your hot fish, your hot meat, your hot asparagus, it's gonna go soak it all up. So a bit of that dressing. Right. Smoky bread. Be attentive with your bread. Don't burn it. I may or may not have burnt something else whilst being here today. I won't tell you what it was, but there are now some pine nuts here that have magically appeared. How nice. Okay, that's good. We're loving, loving life. I'm gonna have to turn this griddle off now because I am done with it. I've got my grilled bread and I'm just, mm, I'm going to rub it with raw garlic. 
And this also is going to soak up that amazing salmorillo dressing. Okay, so we're just building the salad on the plate as it happens. There's no like pre-dressing and then transferring. This all just happens on the plate. And I like that. So the rest of this fennel is going to go in here. Get some of that asparagus showing through. It's looking and smelling incredible. So final things. I'm going to put some parsley through my salmorillo. Parsley is great with garlic because garlic is obviously very strong and parsley neutralizes that. So that's why you'll always have garlic and parsley together. So some of this lightly chopped parsley, just in there. I'm so excited. Okay, so ricotta is gonna get dolloped on top. Just wanna season up your ricotta. Ricotta is not a salty cheese, so it's important to give it a little bit of help. So I'm gonna just put some dollops of this all over here. And that's just going to be such a lovely foil to that lemony dressing. Some of this creamy ricotta, you've got your delicious bread, your garlicky bread. There's nothing on this plate that doesn't say summery Italian delight. So we've got this beautiful salmorillo. Make sure you get plenty on those bits of bread so that it soaks it all up. And finally, some rescued pine nuts. <laughs> These are beautifully oven toasted pine nuts, just exquisite. Um, and I like to toast my pine nuts in the oven because generally speaking, it's quite an easy way of doing it. Somehow that didn't work out today, but um, they get a really good even toast basically. So a few toasted pine nuts on top and you are laughing. So that is my grilled asparagus with fennel, ricotta and salmorillo dressing. Do let us know if you make it at home. And I'm going to dig in because this looks really quite exceptional. And I'm going to take some of my salad bread, put some ricotta on it, put some nice fennel on it and some asparagus. That is a mouthful. Mmm. 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 -hmm.